Welcome to the Balcony Sessions, guys, and today we are trying 2019 Susukaru by Frank and Anderson on Mount Etna, the man himself. Yes, this is available right now, and we are very happy, as everyone, whenever Susukaru comes back into town, everyone goes, woohoo! But this is a wine that changes quite a bit, vintage to vintage, and most recently, I remember the last thing has been quite fruity, so let's give this a go, a bit of a swirl, and see how it goes down. Wow, okay, that is a very interesting vintage compared to last year. Last year, as we said, bags of fruit coming through with that touch of minerality. This year, you're getting a lot more of that minerality coming through. And what's really interesting is you get these little touches that can like leather and spice like you would expect from a big wine, like one of his Munjabels. But of course it's Suzukara, so it's still light. But that's what hits you first rather than the fruit. You get this kind of like, the, the, the kind of warmth that you would get with tannin, but there is no tannin at the end of it. Oh, it's fantastic. You get like bursts of blackberry, kind of popping with little bits of white pepper, or like a squeeze of lime. It's got really great acidity and fantastic minerality. The kind of wine that I think is going to open up a lot more in the next hour. And I would say a little bit more serious than some of the other Suscaro recent vintages. However, it is still a 13%. It is absolutely gluggable still, but it feels gluggable, but with some more seriousness to it. Absolutely love it. Probably my favorite vintage of this. Really, very really nice. 